Hello Internet, Parent Karen come to you with a first impressions video, this time for Motorsport Manager Online, published by PlaySport Games. Currently it is sitting at 4.4 stars over on the Google Play Store, about 18,000 reviews, half a million installs. It's got microtransaction and whatnot, it's a racing game, but there's not a lot of actual options you the player make because you're the manager of it. And we'll get into that once we're into gameplay. But essentially, you know, you're racing against other players using your teams. You know, there's different cars, you know, different parts to put on. It really comes down to, you know, min-maxing stats and just knowing when to pit and, you know, whatnot. So, We'll go into this, try to keep this down to about five minutes of gameplay. Thoughts at the end. As always, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. That support really does help. Thank you so much. So let's get right into this. Okay, I'm rolling a fresh account just to kind of show the opening. I like stock better, so we're doing that. You know, obviously we've got a tutorial going here. So, driving style ends up using up more of your tire. Power is, you know, then smashing the accelerator. The tutorial doesn't matter, so, you know. There's multiple tiers and classes to this game. Basically, as you level up, you open up more parts, different cars, you know, basically just kind of like any other game where you play against people where there's tiers. You get supplies that allow you to upgrade the level of the equipment you can make. And then you spend your in-game currency to actually build the parts. Every so often you get a dilemma, like this tutorial one. You either get straight up money at the beginning, or you get a temporary trait. Like intense development, so an experience bonus. To me, I did money my first go around, and then just as I could, swapped out drivers. Well, just to say something different, we'll do the temporary trait. So we're going to get rid of... Evans over here, which for the tutorial, they always give your left driver, you know, garbage stats. Win in best car, plus five qualifying. Motivator. I see that one. Teammate qualifying race, so this boosts the other one. Interesting trait. I'm gonna try going for the best one first, but I may swap down to this one because that plus five to all on street could be useful. So we're approaching. Here's the deal point. And usually you've got to give them something, either more money or more staff to kind of help along. So we're gonna do both. And he took it. So we're getting rid of Evans. Go back home. We'll pause for just a moment and go get the freebies. Cut the ad that I'm about to play. So we've watched three ads. We've come over to upgrade our staff. But you use them for either supporting drivers, building equipment. Our engineer is garbage. So 41. Far better than what I got right now, so confirm. So great, great, good. So we need to improve our cars. Overall stats. Can't quite bring that up yet. So, 
We'll give it a minute and then put these brakes on the second car and then be good to go. Okay, we finished the part, we're fitting it. Here's where you go and pick the race. Cost money to start, so don't hit zero. At this tier, it's 10. I wanna say where I got to on my first account was 20 people in one race. So not only are you going up where there's more things to work on your car, more stats to consider, more variation to the tracks, but you have more people. So getting that, you know, podium place is harder and harder. And then you get like a bonus objective, which if you are like, you know, middle or better, then you get a little bit extra. I feel like soft for qualifying helps, but having to swap so often is annoying. Third and eighth. Now I want them straight into high. So not doing too great. Santa Ana one fell back to fifth from third. So once they come back around, they're going to pit. Which I should have pitted before then, but yeah. But we don't have enough to actually make it to the end here. Okay, so finished 5th and 8th. So not as good as what I qualified. Get experience based on where you placed. Got some money back. Got some points towards going up in rank. Now, of course, if you have a VPI pass, you get more stuff, but yeah. Showing that, you know, the top player did the same thing I did. Similar there. This gets into how leaderboards work. Shows you where you place in the league brackets, global. So in six hours, you know, this is extra money you get. And there's a friends list, of, of course, too, like so many of these games. So you only get to repair one car's parts. So one part, actually it's one part total from what I remember. So once you get into having like three per car, so six parts, you only get to pick one that comes back up. So you have to kind of balance and cycle around between everything. So it's great. And then you can only fix one thing on them. So bring the performance up by nine, which would only be four, or bring reliability up. Then bring reliability up. And that's game in a nutshell. You come back through, see if you've got enough. No, you don't. And you keep trucking. Something gets bad enough, you could just, you know, replace it. And that's the game loop right there. You get into headquarters, which is where you start upgrading to have more staff, various projects where your research table's at. So that upgrades what engineers appear. This gives you more EXP for your drivers. Play a video, cuts t uh, time down by half. There's a time halved. And yeah, that's the game.
I'm gonna go look at drivers. And every so often it's good to replace them. Strategies over here. Oh, his pit stops are faster, but mm. as somebody's probably already posted like some really good information somewhere. Oh, and you cannot use the same on both drivers, so both can't have a qualifying boost. Tire changes being 50% faster, you know. So that's just quicker pitting, really. These come along as you upgrade. But to me, I feel like the tire changes are better, especially if you're going to be spamming soft tires for speed. But yeah, so overall, it's not a bad game. Now there's different backgrounds, different logos. Now as you go up, you get different stuff. Ready to race. Cost game currency, or the uh, cash shop currency, change your name. Uh, Especially if you're into racing, this can be fun. That's a, it's a neat little time waster. And I mean, you can play it, set your phone down, and you know, keep a weather eye on it. It's not like you're actually sitting there with a wheel. So if this is kind of the speed for you, definitely give it a shot. Let me know down in the comments what you think of it. As far as using, you know, actual money on it, I wouldn't say to do it because you know you can watch the ads and get enough currency and all to keep you going. So, thank you for watching. As I said at the beginning, make sure you hit that like and follow. You know, it does help so much over here on YouTube. And check out the rest of my great content. Thanks so much, and I'll see you again. game.